Welcome back. Stocks are trading mixed after the opening bell this morning. The S&P 500 is aiming for a ninth straight day of gains, so it's just narrowly in the green for now, and the Dow is in the red. We have Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery standing by on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange for more both on stocks and for a check on cryptocurrencies. Jared, what are you watching? Well, let's talk about that streak for a minute here. Now, I went back and looked at these historical streaks going back to the 1960s, basically the beginning of the S&P 500. And until you get to 1995, it seems to be a situation where strength begets strength. Uh, you have these extended runs. They tend to be uh, coupled with low volatility. You might have a day or two to the downside, but for the most part, uh, higher highs have been ahead since the mid-90s. Before that, different era. So, uh, if you believe we're still in the modern era, take that with a grain of salt. I'm also looking at the VIX, though. VIX a little bit elevated. We have all these record highs we're talking about. When we have the VIX climbing day over day, a couple days in a row now, want to watch out for a very mild, what I would say, short-term pullback. Uh, but that's about the only negative I see at this point. Then switching gears to GE, a couple of thoughts on this. I think it makes sense in terms of where we are in the business cycle. If you want to uh, spin off a bunch of industrial units, you better do that into an environment which is favoring cyclicals and industrials, and that happens to be where we are right now. You look at what DuPont and Dow uh, did a few years ago, and also Corteva, that split um, didn't unlock the most value if you, take, if you look at the stock price uh, a couple years later. I think in the modern environment, it just makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of potential for financial engineering in the aviation unit. That's kind of the cash unit, so I'm not surprised that's where the liability is going. We'll have to see how it turns out. But um, finally, finally, Bitcoin, record highs. We did it, right? Uh, I think it's telling that, we, that the market was able to do this in the face of this infrastructure bill that is being, being saddled with some onerous tax implications. Uh, we've seen some activities in Wales pick up recently. Ethereum has really been the story here, uh, but I see higher highs. I just don't know the pace at which we're going to see them. Always be uh, on alert for a false breakout here, but I think we do have some better momentum to see higher highs ahead for not only Bitcoin, but uh, the crypto universe.